Hi guys, this is Crazy Frame for Chica, and I'm gonna be talking about butters, my butters, and a pet peeve of mine, a huge pet peeve of mine. You'd think one would think that they wouldn't go together because I love my butters so much, but they go together. So the pet peeve. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of us who are into more natural, you know, way of life or more natural products, uh, we hear a lot of, read a lot, even like in commercials, oh, made with no chemicals, no chemicals. Guys, everything's chemicals. Everything is chemistry, okay? Everything has chemicals. You cannot have something if nothing, no chemicals, you know? So it may, you may talk about there's no harmful chemicals or there's like no, there are no like lab made chemicals. I don't know, but everything's chemicals. And after you're done enjoying oils and butters just for the way they feel or the way they smell, which is very important. Okay, I always tell people, guys, I love my Bakuri butter. That's my favorite butter. It has amazing, amazing properties. But some people don't like the smell of it. Don't try. You know what? Like butters, my butters and oils are there to bring you, like to make you healthier, prettier, and to make you feel good. Okay? If you want to something, if you want to go out and do something that you don't like, just, you know, I don't know, go get Botox. Like my products, you should be enjoying. You should enjoy wear, using them. But anyways, after you're done, if you just like, you know, oh my God, feel and smell and like research a little bit, do a little research. Uh, there's a book that I, I, I read that I have. It's called Power of Seed by Susan Parker. Uh, it's, oh my gosh, it's all destroyed because I read it like in Brazil on the beach and it's like left. But anyways, you get a lot of like really good information, like, you know, about like, and it's easy to, to read. Unfortunately, she doesn't have like uh, all my products on her book, but I know that she's going to get to it eventually. But uh, you can go to my site and like all my products, they have like their chemical composition and the fatty acid composition. So, for example, okay, let's talk about my butters. People go, oh, Chris, I want to mix them all, all. Guys, my products are not cheap, okay? Uh if you're going to mix it, take a look at the chemical composition, like the fatty acid composition of like my butters, okay? So, the cupuassus, okay, I sell two cupuassus now. They have exactly the same chemical composition, of course. They just from different areas of like uh, Brazil. They're just from the different areas of like uh, the forest and different producers. So they have a little bit of different, they have different sands and different like uh, feel, but that's it. Let's say that I want to like do my cupuassu too, mostly because I'm also like, I'm almost out like of my cupuassu one. And then people are like, Chris, can I buy, should I buy Tucuman and Muromuro? It's like, yeah, if you have money and you want to try both of them, you know, that's awesome. But if you can just get one, Tucuman and Murumuru have very similar uh, chemical composition, like a fat acid, like a, like a profile. Okay, oh, by the way, this is not three, this is two, 13, too. So, no, that's 13 here. This thing is wrong, but they have like very similar composition. So it's like, why try both of them? You know, just let's go. Okay, do you like like a sweeter scent? Do you like a little bit harder? Let's say that I want to like a little bit harder, so I'm going to do Murumuru. So Tucuman is out, okay? And then mango. Mango butter, okay, keep, karité is shea butter in Portuguese, okay. Mango butter and and shea butter have almost very, very similar compositions, okay, very similar. So, I mean, I don't really enjoy the scent of, like, most shea butter in the market, so I would go for mango butter. But if you have shea butter at home, which most people have, just go for it. Um and you, if you're doing products, if you're making products to sell, you also have to look at price. Shea butter is, more, is cheaper than mango butter. And, oh, my gosh, and there are a lot of mango butters out there cheaper than my mango butter, but my mango butter is phenomenal. But say I don't have shea butter, so I'm going to do mango butter. So, so far, I'm like, okay, these three butters. And then ukuba. Ukuba is a super hard butter, very used, like, no, you can't use it on its own. I actually even made products where I use like ukuba butter instead of like beeswax. Um, so, but it has a very because has a very hard like uh, unique chemical composition, 74th muristic acid, which makes it this hard. If you read that book, you're gonna understand how the chemical composition by looking at the fatty acids 
it's in the product, you can tell by how hard or how soft or how light an oil or butter is. So yes, I'm gonna use ukuba. Maybe I'm gonna just use half of like the ukuba. And bakuri, of course. Bakuri has a lot of a lot a lot of like basically just uh here that's uh bakuri has a lot of like palmitic acid, uh seventy percent. Okay, but besides all this uh fatty acids, every butter, every oil, every fat that is, they have like a different, they have like more properties to them, they have a different substance that like give them properties. Uh, unique properties. So do some research, read, you know, after you try, like a lot of people buy, like now I'm selling like all my seven uh, sampler of my seven butters, buy them all, try them by themselves, you know, even Nukuba, open like the, the package, smell it, enjoy it. Because like I said, it is important that you like the way it feels and the way it smells, but also try to get a little bit like informed on the whole background on the chemical composition yes it's all chemicals on the chemical composition behind that and how to make up how to make to come up with the best uh, formulation for your skin for your hair or for your customers uh this is chris in um uh, and that book is called power of the seed by susan uh, m parker in uh, anyways like my email is chris C H R Y S at rainforestchica.com and shoot me an email if you have any doubt, any, any questions. Uh, I may not be able to answer them all, but I will, like, you know, point in the right direction. Uh, thank you for watching.